hello guys in this video we are going to show data from mysql database into data grid view firstly we are going to create a new windows form application in visual studio i will use dotnet framework windows form application so you can just search here windows form then it will uh, come up to you as this windows form app inside parentheses dotnet framework select that and then go next now you have to select your project name i will say data grid view mysql okay now i will create my project now i am going to create my mysql database let's go ahead and turn on our php my admin using example we can do that now i have started the apache server and mysql server so i can just open my browser and then go to localhost forward slash php my admin and here to create a new database press this button new and then i will say uh, let's go ahead and say financial and then create now this is the database now i need some table i will uh, say revenue as the table name now i can specify how many columns i need so i will need one for id and then one for one month and then one for amount that is it and then first one i will say id and then second one month this will be vacha and then uh, length as 50 final one amount so this will be also vacha and then uh, character size as 50 okay now this one will be the id so i can here say auto increment and primary key okay that is it because this is a very simple database and table okay now let's go ahead and insert our data into the table select insert here and then i will type uh, july and then amount as thousand point ten and then uh, let's add another value in, uh, November value as thousand point nine okay that is it now we need to show this data in our application firstly we have to add some library from nougat package manager select tools here and then go to nougat package manager manage nougat packages for solution so i will go to browse and then type mysql.data now result will appear here but you have to scroll to the top otherwise you may not able to see the result so select your project here and then click install okay now i will press ok and i accept here let's go ahead and close this window and then add the new class right click on your project in the solution explorer if you cannot see that click view here and then select the solution explorer visible here so i can go ahead and press add new item and then i need a class and then class name i will specify as database okay here i'm going to import by saying using mysql dot data and then here inside this class i'm going to create several variables to store server name database and also password i'm going to say static 
and then read only because we only want to read that server name database name inside of this context uh, and then I will say is string server is equals to you can specify your server name here it could be localhost or IP address now to check your server name go to php my admin localhost forward slash php my admin and then here in the home if you see here in the database server section you will see this server name you can copy that and then paste that here inside double quotations okay the next one i'm going to create variable called user read only e string and then user as the variable name and i will specify that as root if you don't know where to find your account you can go to php my admin and then go to user accounts here you can find your account and if there are a password you will see there is a password okay now if you want to reset your password you can simply go to here by pressing that user account and then press this change password allow you to generate a new password okay now i already know what is my password of this root account so i will say static read only string password is equals to my password so it is uh, such a big one and it, it will be s u a star 8 q e d s j l n q y okay now the next thing we have to specify our database name financial so i can say it is equals to database name is financial financial so here the next one we are going to create a public string to store our connection string so i can say public static is string connection underscore is string is equals to server is equals to single quotation single quotations inside double quotations plus plus we can pass in that a string server name we can say server here it will pass the value in that variable to this a string by doing this way and then next one finally end up with the semicolon user is equals to single quotation single quotations double quotations plus plus inside that user after the single quotations we have to say semicolon and then specify the database is equals to single quotation single quotations double quotations inside that i will say database name is financial okay the last one here uh, actually that the database name is financial so variable name should be there database okay now semicolon after the single quotations the last one will be the password is equals to single quotation single quotations double quotations plus plus and then password okay now here i'm going to create a method that will be a boolean one called connect underscore db and then parentheses now these uh, braces we have to say 
try catch inside catch parenthesis i will say exception ex and then braces inside braces of this catch block i will say return false and then here i will say here we have to create a new variable public the type will be mysql connection you can use some variable in meaningful way i can say mysql connection is equals to new mysql connection and then parenthesis inside parenthesis i will pass in this connection string okay now that is it inside this function i'm going to say mysql connection dot open and then parenthesis semicolon and then i can say return true okay now i'm going to just uh, copy this function and then paste that in the below and i will replace this with clause db and then here i will say clause and that is it so i can uh, show you whole code here it is such a big one now we can use this function to connect with this database and then we can use this function to close the database now that is it we can open our form here and then just drag data grid view and then i'm going to double click my form when our form loads we can call to a function from here so let's go ahead and create a function public void load data and then parenthesis races now i am going to call to this function here in the form one underscore load okay now here i'm going to say if and then i need some reference for our database database which is this class okay that is fine so i can say here var database is equals to new database parenthesis semicolon okay now in the if statement i can say if database dot connect underscore db parenthesis now if this connect successful this will returns true that's why we are saying if we statement so if this connects we can identify whether it is connected by this if we statement because here you can say this returns true if this success in this function okay now else statement we can show up some error message box dot show inside double quotations we can say database error finally semicolon now here we are going to play our mission here i'm going to just say the variable name for our query string query is equals to now we are going to say select all from the table name the table name is here revenue now if you wish you can pass in some conditions here for example where some id is equals to that particular value now in this case i want to load all data that's why i'm saying select all from table name okay now i'm going to say mysql command mysql command is equals to new 
mysql command and then parentheses inside parentheses i am going to say my query name this variable name here finally semicolon here i am going to say mysql command dot connection is equals to database dot connection mysql connection which is we declared here as mysql connection okay now the next thing i'm going to create a new variable called adapter which will be mysql data adapter and this will be new mysql data adapter parenthesis semicolon and the next thing i can just say adapter dot select command is equals to mysql command semicolon and then here i'm going to say data table dt is equals to new data table parenthesis semicolon and then i'm going to say adapter which is this variable dot fill parenthesis inside parenthesis we had to pass in the data table okay now the final thing we had to create binding source binding source is equals to new binding source parenthesis semicolon and then we have to say binding source dot data source is equals to dt okay that is it so finally we have to say our data grid view uh, reference name here actually we haven't changed that so let me go ahead and change that here right click this and then go to properties now here if we scroll little bit okay now this is the reference name so i will say data grid view my all data for that and then press enter now here i'm going to say data grid view and then my all data actually data grid view my all data dot data source is equals to binding source now you can reuse this function in other words you can call to this function whenever you have to reload the data finally we can go ahead and close our database here i'm going to say database dot close underscore db parenthesis semicolon this function is created by me in this class you can see that so i hope this video helps now we can just uh, start to see what's happening and if this helps please subscribe to my youtube channel and you will be able to see all codes in the video description thank you okay now you can see the data grid view is visible thank you